We're about to tour this two-story penthouse unit with 360-degree views on the rooftop deck. Here are the specs of the property. Let's go check it out. We are literally on Fifth Ave, right next to Central Park, steps away. You walk into your building lobby, head up to the penthouse unit, and this is your door. Come on in, follow me, let's check this place out. We immediately see the floating staircase above me, taking you to a couple bedrooms and that incredible rooftop deck that you're gonna check out at the very end of the video, so stick around for that. You can see the dark wood features throughout on the walls, the high ceilings as we walk in in this grand entryway, but just follow me to your open living space. This is the family room. And one cool detail about this family room is this sliding wood block that can cover the TV. So you just shut the TV off so no one will think that you're just sitting in here watching TV all day when you have views of Central Park and Billionaire's Row here in New York City. On the other side of this family room area, we have all this storage space to my left. You could probably put some books up here, maybe make it more of a library or some photos of your family. And here's another pretty cool detail. This door can close off and then slides in, completely hiding your bar so that your friends and family don't think you're an alcoholic and you don't have a bar. All right, heading out to the wraparound balcony on the first level of this unit. Check this out, follow me this way. We are right above Central Park and it's twilight right now. We're looking at Billionaire's Row. We're looking at the south side of New York City and you can even see the Empire State Building. This is some of the best views in all of New York City, right above Central Park. I mean, one fun fact about Central Park is that this is the most expensive piece of real estate in the entire country. I mean, you've seen a lot of real estate on this channel, but this is worth about $40 billion. I mean, I don't think it's for sale, but if you wanted to buy it, that's how much it'd be worth. And the second most expensive piece of real estate is the Los Angeles Country Club, which we did to our penthouse right above that. If you wanna see that video too, click the link above right there. But I mean, look at this. You can't beat these views, the city lights in New York, the sounds of the sirens and the ambulances. That's how you just know you're, you're living in the city. But this is a complete wraparound balcony. It goes all the way to the east side of New York in a more narrow fashion here. But let's go back inside. All right, we're back inside right in front of the front entrance and directly in front of that front door is the first bedroom that we're gonna show you guys. Carpeted flooring immediately as you walk in and there's not one door to enter into this room, there's two. We have this sliding wood pocket door as well with the little, the little handle that pockets in too. All of this light gray space in the closets for some storage before you head into the bedroom. And if you didn't think that was enough storage, there's more storage on this wall because the entire wall is covered with your closet space. You have views of Central Park from this windowsill. You have a little bench as well. So you can just sit your, sip your morning coffee, spread out, and just stare at New York City, stare at Central Park. I mean, this is pretty comfy actually. I might just stay here, sleep here instead of in this bed. But we gotta show you the rest of this place. Vaulted ceilings above with a light fixture and more recessed lighting around it in those indented ceilings. But there is a bathroom, it is en suite. Pretty luxurious bathroom. We have the nice marble tile on the floorings as well as on the countertops. In your vanity, two light fixtures next to your mirror. The light green walls in your doors with that, that light green tint. Another window looking at Central Park. Toilet is next to your shower. Marble tile in the shower. You have a marble shower bench as well. And it's a pretty spacious bathroom. There's a good amount of room in here. The shower's tucked back. I like the layout. I like this first bedroom. I'm a fan, but let's keep checking out, see how the rest are. All right, we're walking past the staircase. You have these two dimmed light fixtures right next to this table up against the wall. Put whatever piece of artwork you want on these wood walls. And this is your powder room, pretty unique powder room. We have the sleek, shiny, smooth tile down beneath me. You have your wood vanity with the wood countertops in the dark tones and a freestanding glass sink bowl, fully glass sink bowl, wood ledge above, linear mirror. I like the indented walls back there. So this vanity, this sink fits perfectly in this powder room, an efficient use of space. Toilets on the right side, but keep following me down. Now we have the dining area. 
So this dining area, you can probably fit about 10 people. At this dining table, you have the light fixture above the dining table with crystallized rock looking features around them. Recessed lighting as well, so this can be a very bright dining room. You can easily see your Thanksgiving meal on this table. While looking at Central Park, that would be a pretty nice Thanksgiving. I mean, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what that would be like because I, I, I don't live out here. I don't have views of Central Park. But next to your dining table, we have more of blue tones in these countertops and some cabinet space beneath. Same wood ledge above. And we've already just entered the kitchen area. First door to my left is a door leading into the service elevator. Easy access into the kitchen. You can send anyone up, your chef maybe, have them cook a meal for you without coming through the main entrance of the house. So to this side, we have dark gray countertops in the smooth stone. Above, we have see-through glass doors for all of your plates, dishes, bowls, etc. And then on this side, four burner gas stove, Mila appliance, Gagano oven down beneath that actually opens up sideways. Mostly you'll see them open up, up and down, but I think it's an efficient use of space because if you opened it up and down, you wouldn't be able to walk through this hallway here in your kitchen. Kitchen views of Central Park, same cabinetry with the see-through doors. We have your sink to the right, more Gagano appliances to the left with your built-in microwave ovens. And then you have your fridge and freezer on this side. Sub-zero fridge right there. Freezer compartments down beneath and through the kitchen. That was everything in that kitchen. Now we've entered this little, little lounge space hangout area. I'd probably consider this maybe a, a movie room. You can put a large TV up on the wall, or this could also be a breakfast nook too, smaller table, sit down, watch the morning news or whatever you put on, morning sports. You're looking at the east side of New York City. So you can see that nice sunrise and then, but also honestly, I'd probably make this a movie theater room. Maybe put a projector up on the screen, hang out right here. You don't see too many movie theaters in these New York City apartments, these penthouses compared to the the mega mansions in LA. It's a little bit different because we have views of New York. That's your movie, I guess. But follow me down into this bathroom. All there is in this bathroom are bright beige tones throughout in the closet space, in the bathtub, the clad on stone, and then the linear tile in the shower. Floating sink right there, floating sink ledge, just everything you need. Pretty bright bathroom too with tons of storage space in this area, the left and the right side. But that was everything here on this bottom level. Now we gotta go upstairs. Heading up this narrow floating staircase right behind me, you can see the light fixtures that you'll see right as you enter in this apartment. Oversized window looking to the south side of New York. Tons of natural sunlight will come in here during the daytime, but it's not daytime, it's night. It's one of the perfect times to view New York City because of all the lights out here. But we have stumbled on into the, one of the first of two bedrooms up here on this top floor. So what you'll notice in most of these bedrooms, we have carpet, but they're all in a different pattern, different look, but it's very comfortable on your feet, especially when it's, it's a little bit colder outside like you'll see in New York City. But there's tons of detail in the design in the walls here, all this built-in cabinetry, shelving, right side, tons of shelf space. Two nice little light fixtures on both sides of the bed, little night lights there. And you have a, a kind of a nightstand next to your bed so you don't have to get one on your own. Little built-in mini TV and then light fixture above with flower shapes in all of that glass. And now your bed is facing the north side of New York City. Right as we exit this room, we see the staircase, but to my left is a door that leads to the rooftop deck, 360 degree views of New York City. You're gonna see what it looks like at night when we go out there. But here is the last bedroom. Before we go in there, there is a bathroom with another built-in bathtub to the shower with this stone clad onto the side. Same stone in the shower walls. Tons of storage space down here in this bathroom as well. Similar finishes, very bright tones in here on the floors and in your quartz countertops for that vanity. But then you can close that bathroom off. You'd use that bathroom if you're living in the bedroom we just saw. And then we got another door to go into this room. So this room's currently staged as an office. It's probably the second largest room, if not maybe the largest, bigger than your, your primary bedroom. But we have two light fixtures above and your desk tucked way back here, looking over Central Park. You could also make this a library potentially with all of this dark wood throughout. You have wood flooring in here as well, the only bedroom with wood flooring. Dark wood on the walls. I like this space right here where you have enough room for a sofa and then you have two light fixtures on both sides of your piece of art. That is New York City right there, Times Square. That'd be a great piece 
to have and you have another light to put it on display for whoever's in your office, whoever's waiting for you before they talk to you at your desk, making big deals in here. I mean, $22 million, you're probably gonna be working at that office desk a lot. And you have a TV as well, so you can watch TV while you're doing some work, getting something done. And then we have a bathroom in here. This is a big slab, stone slab right here, going from the floor to the ceiling. I mean, that is crazy. I like the design too with the, the black streaks. You have a chrome shower head. The floor is in the same stone, shower bench. Then you have your toilet, black, dark integrated black sink, different toned countertops that honestly look like uh, in the, the cave. You get the cave look right there. And then you have a wood door. And one more thing to check out in this room is over here in the corner, we have this secret door. You can close off this door. Don't tell anyone that you have a bar in your office because you gotta be doing some work. You got a sink right there and then you have freezer compartments. So you can hide everything with the, the paneled in dark wood throughout all of these glass shelves. And that was it in there. This is where you'll be spending a lot of time if you wanna make more money. If you wanna not only live in a $22 million unit in New York, but a $200 million unit as well, come follow me outside. I mean, honestly, New York City at night just absolutely hits different. This is insane. We're looking at Billionaire's Row. We are looking at apartments a little more expensive than this one. This is $22 million, but we're getting up to $200 million as we're looking at some of these skyscrapers in front of us. Central Park to my right. And in my opinion, this is, this is one of the best heights to be. We are overlooking Central Park. Can you imagine spending your summers out here overlooking New York City at night? As we keep going over here, more wood panel flooring and you could make this maybe, uh, maybe a movie theater room. Maybe put a fire pit down beneath. That'd be great on these cold, chilly winter nights. And over here, we have a couple of stone slabs with the rock pattern. We're looking at Northern New York City, Central Park once again. I mean, there's 3,350 square feet on this rooftop deck, so it's almost the same amount of square feet on this rooftop as there is inside. So you might want to spend more time up here on the rooftop. More rock features to the right, and that was pretty much everything, guys. It looks unreal right now at twilight, right now at sunset. Thank you so much for watching the entirety of this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm going to look at Central Park right here. This is insane. Really appreciate everyone who let me tour this listing. See you guys on the next video. Peace.